Hello, we are going to show you how to check a read sensor on a McNaught pulse board from a, um, a pulse flow meter. Now, as you can see, the pulse board sits in the top of the flow meter, so we need to pull that out, and that's done by undoing these two screws. When we have the pulse board in our hand, it will look like this, and all I've done for this um, configuration we have the read switch is determined by these two little black wires and that is in terminals one and two which you can see the numbers one two three four and five on the board itself so what I've done is I've put my multimeter probes into one and two I've set my multimeter onto continuity and then it's open circuit at the moment. I then have a magnet on the end of my screwdriver and when I wave that magnet underneath the sensor you can see it goes short circuit. As soon as I take it away it's open circuit. It goes short, goes open, goes short, goes open. You can also check this by Put it, leaving the pulse board in the flow meter and if you pass fluid through the uh, flow meter and use the rotors turning underneath it to do the same thing. And that is how you check a reed switch on a McNaught pulse board.